Lithium. This outcrop is the tip of a huge underground deposit of lithium, which is essential to the clean energy revolution. How much lithium are we talking about? About 5.9 million tons. For perspective, this is more than 5% of the world's total lithium resources. China's share of the market for lithium-ion batteries could be as high as 80%. Beyond that, China has been busy signing deals with lithium-rich nations. Lithium, a very light metal which can easily float on the water's surface. Scientists say that the metal was created through cosmic rays during the time of the Big Bang. It is considered the only metal that got created through the Big Bang, which is 13.7 billion years ago from now. Certainly, we don't know lithium because of this. We know the name of this metal because our daily life is extremely related to the metal. As a metal, lithium is very highly reactive, and because of that, it can hold an enormous load of energy. <laughs> Lithium-ion batteries are the most contemporary form of rechargeable batteries, which are running our laptops, mobile phones, and many other devices that we use every day. The efficiency of a lithium-ion battery is at least six times better than lead-acid batteries in terms of energy storage. The lithium-ion batteries lose 5% capacity each month, whereas the other batteries lose more than 20% capacity. Such benefits of lithium-made batteries are making them more available, and now it is replacing the use of other batteries. But you might think, is this metal worthy enough to change the fate of a country and its economy? There are few commodities that change everything in a fortnight. Over the years, we have seen how oil has changed the lifestyle and economy of Middle East countries. Similarly, lithium is considered the next oil in the world. The oil demand is increasing, however, there is a limited amount of oil beneath the soil. Besides, pollution and environmental damage through fossil fuel are other big concerns of the contemporary world. When the world was looking for an alternative, the rise of the electronic vehicle industry made it clear how lithium-ion batteries can replace oil in the automobile industry. Even the shift of consumers towards the automobile industry is very explicit, and countries like Nederland, Norway, and Sweden are motivating their populations to buy electronic vehicles. An electronic vehicles industry is entirely dependent on the power of lithium-ion batteries because it is easier to recharge, it's lightweight, and it is energy efficient. The power density of lithium ion is much higher than other molecular batteries, hence it takes less volume of this battery to store the same amount of energy. This is a key reason behind its heavy usage in the electronic vehicle industry, because using lithium ion batteries reduces the weight of the cars. Not only that, but the other devices that we use are also largely dependent on lithium batteries. The industry is predicted to have a worth of $135 billion by 2031. In this race, the countries owning lithium more and manufacturing factories are very much likely to have an economic boost in the upcoming years. Now, the most crucial question is, which countries have the most lithium mines? the South American lithium triangle and Chinese dominance. Firstly, you have to understand that lithium is not a very rare substance. It is available in some countries of the world. It is estimated that there are around 80 million tons of lithium resources and mines around the world. Nearly 80% of the invented mines of lithium are stored in just four countries. These are Australia, Bolivia, Argentina, and Chile. The South American Lithium Triangle holds 60% of total lithium reserve of the world. Although the countries are very rich in lithium mines, none of them are the biggest supply of lithium. The current leader of the lithium extracting industry is China and they supply 70% of the lithium in the current market. The most surprising fact here is that the lithiums are not even extracted from China. As one of the biggest players in the world, and a powerful geopolitical nation, Chinese companies have largely invested in Argentine, Bolivian, Australian, and Chilean companies that are extracting lithium from the mines. And the Chinese companies are holding larger stakes in such companies. In a nutshell, China is controlling 80% of lithium mines in the world. 
The current demand for lithium in the world is very high and most countries are moving forward with modern lithium-ion batteries and developing an electronic vehicle industry. Besides, every other industry is also dependent on lithium-made batteries for electronic devices. Being the only player, China is making a lot of bucks out of this industry at the moment. Even one of the most powerful countries in the world, USA, buys 80% of its lithium-ion batteries from Chinese companies. India buys 70% of their lithium-ion batteries from Chinese manufacturers. Similarly, many European countries like Spain, Germany, Italy, and England are actively purchasing lithium from Chinese manufacturing companies. According to experts, China is going to be more powerful in the near future without even having the biggest lithium mines. Firstly, the mines they have acquired are the biggest lithium mines in the world. Secondly, the process of lithium-ion manufacturing is a long process, and it takes a lot of time and money to manufacture a lithium-ion battery. The process involves five steps of manufacturing. Firstly, mining is done to extract the lithium ores, and after that, the raw materials are processed for improving their purity. Then the cell components such as casing, electrodes, anode, and cathode are manufactured separately. In the fourth step, a battery cell gets produced by combining all the manufactured battery components. And lastly, the batteries are installed in electronic vehicles. Even there are separate procedures for recycling used and expired lithium-ion batteries, which is more hurdling for a manufacturing company. However, with big investments and adequate planning, China has implemented the manufacturing system properly and they almost have an automated lithium-ion manufacturing process, which is already ahead of all other countries. In the current world, out of 100 mega lithium manufacturing factories, 74 are located in China. Among 10 of the biggest manufacturers of lithium-ion batteries, six are located in China. Surprisingly, among all the lithium-ion and lithium battery manufacturing companies in the world, 95.3% of companies are based in China. They are not letting any competitor come even near to them when it comes to lithium battery manufacturing because they are aware of its importance in the near future. But is China going to rule the industry forever? The future of the lithium ion industry. As you are already in this part of the case study, you already know that there are 80 million tons of lithium in different mines. However, we can only access around 22 million tons of lithium for extraction and manufacturing. This means there is a vast amount of lithium mines yet to be explored and extracted. The United States is a possible big name for the industry because currently 38 lithium ion manufacturing companies are operating in the USA. On the 9th of February, 2023, a geological survey in India has discovered a lithium mine of 5.9 million tons. India is currently far behind in the race of leading in the lithium manufacturing industry. However, Australia is actively investing in lithium extraction and manufacturing because they understood the importance of this element in the upcoming future. It is very easy to predict that. The next decade of lithium manufacturing will be in China's hands. But you know, predictions are not always certain.